Welcome to the future of precision dentistry. In this brief demonstration, witness the precision and efficiency of the Atomica S200 Intraoral Scanner. First, let's start by exploring the scanner's components, starting with the scanner removable tips. It comes with two different size tips that fits different needs. Heading to the Start Stop button, where you press to start scanning, press again to stop. Here you can find the mode button, which switches between different modes. Directly above it, you can find the mode indicator. Finally, the USB cable and connector which supply power to the scanner by laptop instead of electrical outlet. And with the scanner weighing only 185 grams, which is one of the most lightweight scanners in the market. This gives you extreme flexibility in handling it. Once you connect the scanner to the laptop, it's automatically connected with no need for further calibration. Now, let's head to the scanner software. Once you install the software, you can sign up to the digital oral data management platform where all your data can be saved on a cloud base. Returning to the software interface, where you can seamlessly save your patient's data and choose whether your workflow it is a restoration or an implant. Before you start scanning, here are some features to explore. Our software is powered with AI to remove unnecessary data like tongue and cheeks. Just make sure that it's turned on before scanning. Also marking, shining here will allow enhancing scanning of shining objects like metal restoration or scanned bodies. Auto exposure automatically adjusts the intensity of the light according to the different clinic environments, the degree of reflection of different scanning targets during scanning. Before you start scanning, make sure to eject saliva and blood to make the teeth surface dry as much as possible. To start scanning, press on the start button on the scanner and adjust the scanning tip parallel to the occlusal surface. Keep the lens about 4 mm away from the teeth surface and make sure it is centralized. Then start leaning about 60 degrees to the lingual surface and same for the labial surface. After finishing the first arch, press on the mode button to switch to the other arch. Then press on it again to register the bite. Start by scanning the bite on one side and once it's registered it will automatically allow you to scan the other side. During scanning, if you want to keep a certain area on the model without further updates, you can use the lock area tool to prevent it from being updated by additional scanning. As you can see here, the blue area does not change. Also, as you can see, there are green highlighting on models to show you areas that need further scanning, small holes are automatically filled. After scanning, here are some features that you will surely need to enhance your model. Use the free lasso trimming tool to remove unnecessary data. According to your needs, you can switch between monochrome and the patient's hard and soft tissue actual color. You can also use the Vivid Display mood for better disability. Check the undercut areas on the preparation site with the undercut check tool. It works in the direction where you place them all. You can also have an occlusal analysis that analyzes the interference between the maxilla and the mandible and displays the result through a color map. If you acquire occlusal contacts using an articulating paper, you can compare the digitized seclusion analysis and the articulating paper to take measurements, generate cross-sections to check the 2D outline of the models, and take accurate measurements. Finally, you can export the model in both STL and PLY formats, then save to your disk or on the cloud storage so that you can access your patient data anywhere, anytime. I hope you enjoyed this video and stay tuned for more.